The 2007 ICC Cricket World Cup was the ninth edition of the Cricket World Cup tournament that took place in the West Indies from 13 March to 28 April 2007, using the Sports One Day International format. There were a total of 51 matches played, three fewer than at the 2003 World Cup despite a field larger by two teams. The 16 competing teams were initially divided into four groups, with the two best performing teams from each group moving on to a Super 8 format. From this, Australia, New Zealand, Sri Lanka, and South Africa won through to the semi finals, with Australia defeating Sri Lanka in the final to win their third consecutive World Cup and their fourth overall. Australia's unbeaten record in the tournament increased their total to 29 consecutive World Cup matches without loss, a streak dating back to 23 May 1999, during the group stage of the 1999 World Cup. The tournament also saw upsets in the first round with tournament favourites India and Pakistan failing to advance past the group stage. The following day police announced that the death of Bob Woolmer was suspicious and ordered a full investigation. Following the tournament, the ICC distributed surplus tournament revenues of 239 million United States dollars to its members. Topic: <laughs> Host selection. The World Cup was awarded to the West Indies via the International Cricket Council's rotational policy. It is the first time the ICC Cricket World Cup has been held in the Caribbean despite the fact that the West Indies cricket team had been the second most successful team in past World Cups. The United States contingent lobbied strongly for matches to be staged at its newly built cricket ground in Lauderhill, Florida, but the ICC decided to award all matches to Caribbean nations. Bids from Bermuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and a second bid by Jamaica were also rejected. Eight venues across the West Indies were selected to host the World Cup tournament. All host countries hosted six matches with the exceptions of St. Lucia, Jamaica, and Barbados which hosted the final, each of which hosted seven matches. The Jamaican government spent US$81 million for on-the-pitch expenses. This included refurbishing Sabina Park and constructing the new multipurpose facility in Trelawney through a loan from China. Another US$20 million United States dollars was budgeted for off the pitch expenses, putting the tally at more than US$100 million United States dollars or JM $7 billion. This put the reconstruction cost of Sabina Park at US$46 million United States dollars whilst the Trelawney Stadium was estimated to cost US$35 million United States dollars. The total amount of money spent on stadiums was at least US$301 million United States dollars. Brian Lara Stadium, in Trinidad, lost its status as a pre-tournament warm-up match venue on 21 September 2006. Venues Warm-up venues Topic Qualification The field of 16 teams, the largest ever for the Cricket World Cup, consisted of all 16 teams which currently held ODI status. This included the 10 full members of the ICC, all of which have test and permanent ODI status. The other six associate ODI nations were Kenya, which had ODI status until 2009, and five additional teams, previously three, that qualified via the 2005 ICC Trophy, gaining ODI status until 2009 in the process. These nations included Scotland, who won the ICC Trophy, Canada, the Netherlands, and making their World Cup debuts, Ireland and Bermuda. Topic. Squads The 16 teams were each asked to announce their final squads by 13 February 2007. Changes were allowed after this deadline at the discretion of the ICC's technical committee in necessary cases, such as due to player injury. Topic. Media coverage The World Cup had grown as a media event with each tournament. 
the sponsorship and television rights that were awarded primarily to cover the 2003 and 2007 World Cups raised over US$550 million. The 2007 World Cup was televised in over 200 countries to a viewing audience estimated at more than 2 billion viewers and was expected to generate more than 100,000 unique visitors to the West Indies traveling solely for the tournament. The 2007 Cricket World Cup featured an orange, anthropomorphic raccoon like creature named Mello, as its mascot. It was announced during matches that Mello had no race, species, age or gender. It was an attitude, the attitude of the young people of the West Indies. The official song for the World Cup was, The Game of Love and Unity, by Jamaican-born Shaggy, Bajan entertainer Rupee, and Trinidadian Faye Ann Lyons. The 2007 tournament recorded the highest ticket sales for a Cricket World Cup, selling more than 672,000. Attendance leading into the semi-finals for the 2007 World Cup was 403,000, an average of 8,500 supporters per match. Topic: <inaudible> Lead up. All major test playing nations had schedules allowing them to play a large number of ODI matches against other major ODI teams just prior to the World Cup. Australia, New Zealand, and England took part in the Commonwealth Bank series where England defeated Australia in the finals. Australia then went to New Zealand for the Chapel Hadley Trophy, losing 3-0. South Africa played five Otis against India South Africa won 4-0 and five against Pakistan South Africa won 3-1, while India also played four Otis against the West Indies India won 3-1 and four Otis against Sri Lanka India won 2-1. Bangladesh played four Otis against Zimbabwe Bangladesh won 3-1 and won a tri-series against Canada and Bermuda. The associate ODI teams took part in the World Cricket League, which Kenya won, and were also involved in other series prior to the World Cup. The rankings of the teams at the beginning of the Cricket World Cup were Note, teams 12-16 did not have official ODI rankings leading up to the World Cup, they are ranked based on their win percentage against full members and then wins against associate members prior to the tournament. <laughs> Warm-up matches Prior to the main tournament all 16 nations played a series of warm-up matches to prepare, experiment with different tactics, and to help them get acclimated to conditions in the West Indies. The warm-up matches were not considered as official Otis. The matches were played from Monday 5 March until Friday 9 March. <laughs> <laughs> Opening ceremony The ICC Cricket World Cup 2007 opening ceremony was held on Sunday the 11th of March 2007 at Trelawney Stadium in Jamaica. It featured over 2000 dancers and performers representing all strands of West Indian music from calypso and raga to reggae and soccer. Among the performers were Sean Paul, Byron Lee, Kevin Little, Berez Hammond, Lucky Dube, Buju Banton, Half Pint, Arrow, Michelle Montano, Alison Hines, Tony Rebel, Third World, Gregory Isaacs, David Rudder, Shaggy, The I-3s, and Jimmy Cliff. The ceremony, attended by several heads of state including the Governor-General of Jamaica, started with an address by Sir Garfield Sobers and included messages from the Prime Ministers of Jamaica and Grenada. Topic. Rules and regulations Topic. Matches The matches were one-day internationals and operated under normal ODI rules. All matches were to be 50 overs a side unless stated otherwise by the umpires or match referee. A bowler was able to bowl a maximum of 10 overs per match. In the event of bad weather, each side must have batted a minimum of 20 overs for a result to be declared if the match was not otherwise won, for example if the team batting second were dismissed before the completion of 20 overs. In the event of bad weather, the Duckworth-Lewis method was to be applied to determine the result or target. If no result was declared on the scheduled day, the teams would return the following day to complete the game, with the same situation as when the game was abandoned. 
there was a new rule regarding referral of catches to the TV replay official third umpire if the standing umpires were unable to determine whether a catch had been taken cleanly, and or whether a claimed catch was a bump ball. They had discretion to refer the decision to the third umpire. Also, whilst reviewing such a catch via TV replay if it was clear to the third umpire that the batsman did not hit the ball, he was to indicate that the batsman was not out. Topic. Tournament points In the Group and Super 8 stages, points were awarded as follows The top two teams from each group advanced to the Super 8 stage and any points they earned against the other qualifier from their own group was carried through. Points earned against the non-qualifying teams in the same pool were not carried over. In the Super 8s, each team played the six remaining qualifiers from the other groups and the top four teams went through to the semi-finals. Positions were decided by most points. Where two or more teams were tied on points, the following methods in turn were used to decide which team went through. Most wins in their group or in Super 8, whichever is applicable. Higher net run rate. Higher number of wickets taken per ball. Winners of head-to-head -head matches. The drawing of lots. Topic: Umpires. The umpiring panel for the 2007 Cricket World Cup comprised nine umpires from the elite panel of ICC umpires. The only member not included was Darrell Hare, and nine umpires from the international panel. The refereeing panel consisted of seven members from the elite panel of ICC referees, with Clive Lloyd not being included due to his role as the West Indies's team manager. Aleem Dar went on to stand as an umpire in his first World Cup final, alongside Steve Buckner who appeared in his fifth final in a row, extending his record of four from the 2003 World Cup. Groups. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Seeds The tournament began with a league stage consisting of four groups of four. Each team played each of the other teams in its group once. Australia, India, England, and the West Indies were placed in separate pools for logistical reasons, as they were expected to have the most supporters in attendance, and transport and accommodation capacity in the West Indies was limited. The groups are listed below, with seedings rankings from April 2005 shown in brackets. Each group played all of its matches at a single ground. Topic. System The tournament was preceded by a number of warm-up matches to acclimate the players. The group stage matches started on Tuesday 13 March and finished on Sunday 25 March. There were a total of 24 matches played in the group stage. The top two teams in each group proceeded to the Super 8 stage which also used a league system. Each team carried forward its result against the other team qualifying from its preliminary stage group, and played the other six qualifying teams once each. The top four teams in the league qualified for the semi-finals. This system was modified since the previous World Cup, which had a Super 6 stage rather than a Super 8. The Super 8 stage matches were played from Tuesday 27 March until Saturday 21 April. A total of 24 matches were played in the Super 8 stage. The top four teams in the Super 8 advanced to the semi-finals. This was the knockout stage, with the number one team playing the number four team, and the number two team playing the number three team in the tournament. The winners of the two semi-finals played each other in the final. All tournament matches had one reserve day the day after the scheduled day of the match to allow for matches to be completed in the event of bad weather. Topic. Group stage Topic. Group A Topic. Group B Topic. Group C
Topic Group D. Topic Super Eight Stage. The top two teams in each first round group moved on to a Super 8 stage which was scored as a complete round robin. However, each of the eight teams played only six new matches, rather than seven. Each group's two representatives carried forward their result against each other rather than play again. Thus the table below, showing seven matches for each team, covers all matches between the Super 8 qualifiers, including those from the group stage. Teams depicted in green backgrounds qualified for the semi-finals. Topic: Knockout stage. Topic: Semi-finals. Topic: Final. This was the first World Cup final to be a repeat. The sides previously met in the 1996 World Cup final, which Sri Lanka won. Australia had won every World Cup match against Sri Lanka apart from that loss. The match was Sri Lanka's second World Cup final appearance, and Australia's fourth in a row and sixth overall. Australian captain Ricky Ponting won the toss and elected to bat. However, the start of play was delayed due to rain, and the match was reduced to 38 overs per side. Wicketkeeper Adam Gilchrist played an incredible innings of 149, the highest for any batsman in a World Cup final, to give Australia an imposing total going in at the break. While Sri Lankan batsmen Kumar Sangakkara and Sanath Jayasuriya were adding 116 for the second wicket, the contest was alive, but after the pair got out, Sri Lanka's chances slowly diminished. Further rain forced the reduction of Sri Lanka's innings to just 36 overs, with the target revised to 269. At the end of the 33rd over, with Sri Lanka still trailing the adjusted Duckworth Lewis target by 37 runs, the umpires suspended the game due to bad light. While Australia's players began to celebrate their victory since the minimum 20 overs had been reached, the umpires incorrectly announced that because the match was suspended due to light and not rain, the final three overs would have to be bowled the following day. With Sri Lanka needing 61 runs from 18 deliveries, Sri Lankan captain Mahela Jawardena agreed there was no need to return the following day, and instructed his team to resume batting. Ponting agreed to play only spin bowlers. The last three overs were played in almost complete darkness, during which Sri Lanka added just nine runs to give Australia a 53-run victory by the DL method. The umpires later apologised for their error, saying that the match should have ended then with Australia winning by 37 runs. Australia won the tournament undefeated, extending their streak of World Cup matches without a loss to 29. Australian bowler Glenn McGrath was named Player of the Series. Topic Controversies Topic Death of Bob Woolmer Pakistan coach Bob Woolmer was found dead on the eighteenth of March two thousand and seven, one day after his team's defeat to Ireland put him out of the running for the World Cup. Jamaican police performed an autopsy which was deemed inconclusive. The following day police announced that the death was suspicious and ordered a full investigation. Further investigation revealed the cause of death was manual strangulation and that the investigation would be handled as a murder. After a lengthy investigation the Jamaican police rescinded the comments that he was murdered and confirmed that he died from natural causes. Topic: <laughs> Criticism <laughs> The 2007 World Cup organizers were criticized early on for being over-commercialized and, in particular, the generally smaller crowds have been blamed on the ICC's security restrictions on things such as outside food, signs, replica kits, and musical instruments, despite Caribbean cricketing customs, as well as the authorities being accused of running cricket and cricketing traditions out of town, then sanitizing it out of existence. Sir Viv Richards echoed the concerns. 
The ICC were also condemned for high prices of tickets and concessions, which were considered unaffordable for the local population in many of the locations. ICC CEO, Malcolm Speed, said that the ICC recognized the problem but said it was the local organizers' fault. However, the later matches had more crowds as the tournament progressed with the local organizers easing restrictions. Although it did not meet the target of US$42 million, the US$32 million revenue from ticket sales was the highest of any Cricket World Cup and double that of the previous World Cup. The World Cup was also criticised by the BCCI for its format because India failed to move on from the group stage after losing two of their three matches. The BCCI later claimed it would see to it that the ICC alter its format for the 2011 Cricket World Cup. The elimination of both India and Pakistan also caused a large exodus of subcontinental fans from the Caribbean, and removed the prospect of an India vs Pakistan Super 8s match, generally considered one of the most revenue generating and electric matches in the tournament. The tournament was also criticised as being too long. At six weeks, it was the same length as the 2003 World Cup, but longer than the five-week 1999 World Cup and the four-week 1996 World Cup. The famous West Indian fast bowler Michael Holding also criticised the qualification process for the 2007 World Cup. Holding expressed doubts over the benefit to less established teams of turning up and being heavily defeated. However, former Scotland captain George Salmon claims that the opportunity to play one-day cricket against the bigger teams is invaluable for smaller teams such as his own, and questioned the validity of Holding's statements. The majority of the experts and players participating in the tournament backed up the smaller teams taking part in the World Cup. This was further backed up with Ireland and Bangladesh making the Super 8s and being competitive and sportsmanlike throughout the tournament. Further criticism was generated by the confusion at the end of the final match. The umpires announced that play was suspended due to bad light, which caused the Australian team to erupt in celebration as the scoreboard and official announcements declared Australia the winners. However, the umpires incorrectly insisted that the game was only suspended and not completed, and that three overs remained to be played, so in farcical light conditions, Sri Lanka batted out the remaining three overs following a gentleman's agreement between the two captains. The umpires and the ICC apologised for the unnecessary situation and cited it as an unnecessary fundamental error due to the pressure of the situation. In June the ICC announced that the officials involved, on-field umpires Steve Buckner and Aleem Dar, reserve umpires Rudy Kurtzen and Billy Bowden, and match referee Jeff Crow, would all be suspended from the 2007-2020 World Championship. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Preparation problems. A number of preparation problems surfaced before the start of the World Cup. Some of the venues were not complete by the opening ceremony on the 11th of March 2007. At Sabina Park, seats had to be removed at the newly constructed North Stand due to safety concerns. At Trelawney Stadium in Jamaica, ground staff were unable to gain admission to the ground during the warm-up matches due to accreditation problems. Additionally, South Africa and Australia both expressed concerns over practice facilities. Topic. See also West Indies Cricket Board CARICOM Visa and Freedom of Travel during Cricket World Cup 2007 Cricket World Cup venues Topic. Notes Topic. External links 2007 Cricket World Cup website ICC Overview of 2007 World Cup ICC website, Cricket World Cup page Crickinfo, Cricket World Cup 2007 2007 Cricket World Cup Australia's winning ODI kit